whether it be your movie masterpiece which you've spent hours putting together or a simple clip that you've downloaded from your camera and you want to get to either Facebook or YouTube very quickly, Premiere Elements 10 has the features to get your video online super fast. So let's grab this little clip here and show you what I mean. We'll go straight from the project tab straight to share. You notice straight away that we've got a bunch of different output options here including this online entry. Now if it's the first time that you've selected the online entry you might see a little pop-up box that says downloading settings. This is just a way for the Premier Elements team to keep all of the online settings up to date so that they'll work well with the online providers. I'm just going to select this entry now and we'll see a new screen displayed in the share task pane. We have several options here including uploading to photoshop.com, Facebook, YouTube and also just hidden beneath Podbean as well. Let's have a look at Facebook to start with. If we select Facebook, underneath the Facebook entry we have a panel which shows some information and also the ability to select a couple of different presets. One is HD or high definition, the other one is SD or standard definition. So if we select HD you'll notice that the file type we're using is H.264 and the frame size is 1280 by 720 pixels. If we select SD, you'll see that the frame size drops down. This will mean that the file size will be smaller as well. You see with SD the file size is 5.63, whereas if we go to HD the file size is 6.73 megabytes. So depending on your upload speed from your computer, you may want to select the SD version in order to get a smaller file and to get your videos up online quicker. So let's select that now and I'll click the share work area bar only so that we are just uploading this section. Click Next. We'll go through to an authorization section. This enables us to authorize Premier Elements to upload directly to our Facebook account. And you can see here for Premier Elements 10 that we get to keep this authorization alive for up to 24 hours, which means if you've got a range of clips and images that you want to upload to your Facebook account, you can do so without having to go through the authorization process time and time again. It will remain active for 24 hours. So let's just click authorize and see what we have to do. Immediately our web browser opens and we get this request for permission screen appearing. Here we get the option to allow or don't allow. Now if you're not already logged in, you can see my photoshopelements.net account is logged in here. If you're not already logged in to Facebook, well then you may have to log in first before you get this authorization screen. I'm just going to click allow now and you can see that we can now close this window and go back into Premier Elements and click complete authorization and now we're linked through to our Facebook account. Remember, we don't have to continue to do this if we want to upload more videos in this particular session. So let's just call this Quick Cars. And you can put in some description there as well and choose who we want to allow to see this video. We can select everyone, which means it goes out to all the public, friends of friends or friends only. Then we just click upload to upload our video directly to our Facebook account. Once the video has been rendered and uploaded to Facebook, you will now see a confirmation screen to say that the sharing process is now complete. You'll also be able to see a web address for you to go directly to the video that you've now uploaded. And there's the video ready to play. Also on the same pane, we have the ability to send an email with this web address to all our friends so that they too can view the video as well. So that's Facebook. Let's click Done at that point and go back to the online options and this time let's select YouTube. Again, underneath the YouTube entry, we have some settings and in particular, these settings are specific to the type of file format used for your video and also the type of quality used for your video. So obviously the higher the resolution the better the quality. For this scenario we're just going to use flash video for YouTube in widescreen. Again we're going to select share work area bar only and you can see here particularly the file size and the other details to do with the rendered file that's going to be uploaded to your YouTube account. Let's go and click next 
and the new panel we see is a sign in for our YouTube account. So let me just sign in here and click next and we can put in the title and a description any key tags that we want to enter and the category that we want to use so it could just be travel and events now select next again do we want the public to view this share or do we want to restrict the sharing public is fine so we'll click share and it goes through rendering the video and then uploading the video to YouTube. Once the rendering and uploading process is completed, you'll again see a completion screen and a web address for you to click on to take you directly to your new YouTube video, as well as the send an email option. Let's have a look at the video inside YouTube. And here it is. So now, not only can you create your videos and your movies inside Premiere Elements, but you can also upload them very quickly to Facebook and YouTube.